She felt super bad because in her eyes, I was the love of her life. And now she screwed up. I broke up the moment I heard it. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post, guys. I'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out. But you guys read the title? Let's just get into it. So, Reddit Relationship Advice. My ex-girlfriend cheated on me, but has no recollection of it. Uh-huh. Sure she doesn't. Sure. So me, 23-year-old male, and my now ex-girlfriend, 20-year-old female, broke up because she apparently cheated on me, which was hard to hear. We dated for one year, nine months. So me and my girlfriend had been having issues on a libido front because of multiple reasons. There are arguments that happened a lot, and I have been on antidepressants for a while now. And I've even cut back a lot to try and fix my libido. But it just hadn't been working. I also got into my new house in an apartment complex where some friends are staying as well. And we were all students, so we hung out a lot the first week. She felt like I wasn't giving her the attention she needed those couple of weeks. And romance had been a big thing in our relationship, which dried out a bit as well because of the constant events unfolding around us. So there was just a lot going on. For context, during our relationship, there was a guy, let's call him John, who's been after her for a long time. They committed some oral things before we met, sent a D-pic to her during our relationship, had been confessing feelings from time to time, but she just saw him as a good friend now, which I can respect. Wow. Three days ago, we had this argument about why my libido is actually so low. So I told her it is from the antidepressants and from the fights we've been having. I could explain all the fights that happened for context, but that would take a long time. So if anyone needs that, I'll edit it in later. Two days ago, she went house sitting for her grandma and she was talking to her best friend about inviting John over. They both said it would be a stupid idea, but she admitted that in her overconfidence in herself, got the better of her so there were drinks while she had invited the guy over but she was on a new medication that mixed bad with alcohol and she just doubled her dose a day before mm -hmm. yeah sure yesterday she said she said she didn't want to talk to me for that day but reconsidered after a talk with her mom i was paranoid for the entire day because i knew something had happened so it really sucked having to wait until late in the afternoon my friend drove me over and we had to talk. In the first conversation, she admitted to the drinks and she admitted to kissing him a couple of times. But she remembered crying afterwards about it with John. She felt super bad because in her eyes, I was the love of her life and now she screwed up. I broke up the moment I heard it. I cried my lungs out and I was super heartbroken. I still am. But there was a second conversation in which she called up. My friend really scared. Apparently, they had done oral, and she had no recollection of, of that whatsoever. She was really drunk, influenced by medication and emotion. This was super messed up because she couldn't remember a thing. I feel like she put herself in the situation, she did, but had no control over it anymore. There were so many red flags, warnings, precautions, and conversations. We had a great relationship, and there were some things we were struggling with, but we always got out. I feel like the a-hole because she is super scared of her of her own medication now. I love this girl, and there is an apparent chance that the friend abused her while being drunk. But I also feel like I'm not the a-hole now because she invited him over herself. Thank you. I'm like, what are you talking about? And chose to drink this much herself. So please help me. She keeps on saying she will fix it and she will make things right. But I'm really scared right now. I know I'm very vulnerable to this type of behavior, but I also stand firmly by the fact that she chose to do this. Wow. Yeah, dude, she cheated. She and 
She invited him over. I don't care how drunk she got. I don't care what pills she took. I don't care. She knew what she was doing. And dude, while you were still in a relationship, didn't he send her a D pick? After they had a sexual relationship before you got together. Well, she's telling you, oh, we're just friends. Ow, you went down on him. That's not just friends. What are you talking about? Sir, do not let this girl crawl back into your life. Do not let her crawl back into your life. She faced the consequences of cheating on you. You broke up with her. Keep it that way. You're not the a-hole, dude. You're fine. Keep it that way. Kept this guy around your whole entire relationship. She did that for a reason. She enjoyed getting it in with him. Even if it's you're saying, oh, they just did oral or whatever. Some would argue that's even worse. <laughs> Some would argue that that's even worse. But dude, they had that type of relationship. She can't have that with somebody and be in a monogamous relationship with you. It'll never work. And it's not, oh, he sent her D pics and he was talking like this to her like she allowed him to do it trust me if he knew he couldn't do it he wouldn't do it he put herself in a position to allow him to do it she has been disrespecting the heck out of you you've done the right thing by getting rid of her she doesn't deserve you let her go let her go be with him the nerve of her my medication i was drunk yeah, it's not worth it, man. Every time something happens, she'll blame it on her medication. She'll blame it on alcohol. She'll blame it on something. She will never take accountability. Ever. I don't know why you feel bad, sir. I have no idea why you feel bad. But don't feel bad. You did, no you did nothing wrong. She screwed you over. Let's check out these comments. I'll just invite my super horny friend John over for, for a night of drinking. Nothing will happen. <laughs> I call BS on the foggy meds. What good friend sends D pics? Glad you broke it off. Here's OP, info, this was at the very start of our relationship. She responded casual and I got angry with it. She understood and set boundaries. Just heard that it was with that guy. The meds is an official thing though, but I still feel like she put herself in this situation. Yeah, OP, you know she did, so don't let her come, come back into your life. I'm sorry, but why would she have anything to do with this John if he often admits his feelings for her and sends unsolicited D-pics? While she's in a relationship, it sounds like she liked his attention. Don't give her another chance. Just move on. Get busy with your own life and the feelings will leave. Mm -hmm. He admitted that it was a bad idea. She knew what she was doing when she invited the guy over. Maybe she didn't intend to cheat and he took advantage of her. And that sucks, but she didn't intend to invite him over and probably use him to make you jealous. Either way, she effed up and you shouldn't feel bad for breaking up with her. Absolutely. Don't feel bad for breaking up with her, man. When did you post this? 22 days ago? Let's see if you posted anything else. No, I see before you were in the a AITA asking if you were an a-hole for breaking up with her. Possible advantage. Possibly get she, she possibly got taken advantage of. No, dude, she, she did this herself. Sorry. Sorry. And I would tell people like John or any other guy, if you if a girl invites you over and she's like plastered and but she's all over you or whatever, but she's plastered, you might want to leave it alone. You might want to put them away and say, you know, as bad as I want to, no, because she's drunk, you know, she's been smoking, whatever it is. It's not worth it. In that situation, it's not worth it because she could run and lie and say, Oh, he took advantage of me, he took advantage of me, and he can get in big trouble. You know, so don't be that guy either, guys. But this man should not feel bad for dumping her. She got what she deserved. Mm, someone else is saying here, my friend, 
My dear friend, number one, not all antidepressants have side effects that kill your libido. Learn this for the future. You visit your doctor and tell them that you have libido issues and you will have the treatment changed. Listen to me because I experienced it firsthand. Number two, there's no such thing as good friends once she sucked his D. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. That is a person to be blocked everywhere. Number three. No sane person will take care of grandma by drinking heavily. Also, not by having a date. And what would grandma say if she was seeing her nephew sucking off a dude? What would grandma say if she was if she if she was to see her nephew? Okay, anyway, you have been lied to. Number four, she remembers everything. She had such a great time that it's hard to forget. This is called blood treachery. She premeditated everything. The when and how and all the alibis. It is not me. It, it is the medication and the alcohol and his D. Throw this promiscuous woman to the curb and look for a decent woman. There are plenty. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I will catch you guys at the next one.